As maybe you've noticed, sharing advice and opinions has turned into a big business. What used to be relegated to talk shows, advice columns, and self-help books, we now get fed regularly to us at the click of a button. Yet, true wisdom often runs counter to what our culture values and applauds. It's been said our culture is glutted with information, but often starved for wisdom. We need practical counsel that is also spiritual. Sometimes we just need things boiled down to the basics. And that's just part of what I love about the proverb I've chosen for us to look at today. Hello again, my name is Terry, and I'm one of the pastors in our singles ministry and life groups here at North Coast. Welcome to this edition of The Daily Dose. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 straight up instructs us, Trust the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. It sounds like two commands that are mutually exclusive, do one thing but not the other. But is this blind trust that completely ignores common sense? Of course not. But it's important to recognize which command takes precedence. God's wisdom represents truth and his will, and neither typically clash with common sense. But common sense alone often isn't enough to provide the needed information and direction for a particular decision. And really, how common sense is common? How common is common sense after all? Whereas Psalm 18 verse 30 says, As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. This is just one of the reasons it's so important that we make and keep it a regular discipline to study our Bibles. By grounding our common sense in God's word, we learn to rely upon him instead of ourselves. And the more we rely upon him, our knowledge and understanding through experience begins more and more to grow. When we fully trust in the Lord, we cannot then also depend on our own ability to understand everything God has in store and is doing in our lives. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12 says, For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. We see only part of the picture. If we are truly going to trust him, we have to let go of our pride, our programs, and our plans. For even the best laid human plans cannot begin to approach the amazing intelligence of God's design. Earlier in his first letter to the Corinthians, Paul writes, For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Most of us have some area in our life, some thing that we've been through, that we so desperately want to be able to understand, but must acknowledge that we just can't or don't. There have certainly been many in my life, and it's sometimes hard for me to believe that it's been like 14 years ago now. But one night, as my son and I returned home from a Padres game, I went up to check on and greet my wife. As I did so, I could see that something in her countenance just didn't look quite right. After some coaxing, she proceeded to tell me that she just couldn't do this anymore. She said that she didn't love me anymore, hadn't for some time, and that she wanted out of our marriage. If that just rocked you a bit... You can only imagine what a baseball bat upside the head that felt like to me. I had no idea, and honestly, a bit embarrassingly, maybe even never saw it coming. Suffice to say, that's a much longer story for a different discussion. But in the time that followed, through a journey I never wanted or intended to be a part of, of single parenthood, multiple job changes, and even being out of work for a while, then a full-on career change, all the way to experiencing the redemptive love of God through remarriage and blending of a family, now to include three kids, God would begin to reignite a passion in me for him and his word. Through all of the highs and lows of life, I'm beginning to learn that we cannot just lean on our own understanding. We have to trust, acknowledge, and follow God's ways, even when we can't comprehend them. I know that many of you can relate to a story like mine, and it's hard. If not through the pain of separation and divorce, then perhaps in the midst of the challenges in your singleness, your marriage, raising kids, your job situation, an unexpected medical diagnosis, or untimely loss of a loved one. Maybe you're wrestling with something I haven't even mentioned. God sees the whole, fully developed picture. To trust in the Lord with all of our heart means we can't place our own right to understand above His right to direct our lives the way He sees fit. When we insist on God always making sense in our finite minds, We are setting ourselves up for spiritual trouble. Do not rely on your own understanding. Instead, learn and discipline yourself to trust and lean into him. It's a so much better way. 
I'll see you out there.